Hi, nice. hi everyone, I had trouble, addict, a guy here, and I'm in the hostel in Alicante, and we've got two guys from Ukraine here, and what is your name, sir? My name is Kostya. Kostya, okay. Kostya. Okay, and you? Sergey. Sergey, okay, yes. and you also, you escaped Ukraine recently, right? No, I don't escape, I, I, I just arrived for a light tourist. Here. Before war, I I I, war. I, 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 I go, okay. I, I become here before war. Oh, okay, okay. But you're from Kiev, you told me, or? Yes, yes. Okay, so a lot of problems there right now, right? A lot of war. Uh, yeah, no, no, no. Uh, you know, maybe it okay. was war, but now it's, uh, it's better now. Uh, calm. Okay, now, okay, okay, very good. Okay, and you made us a borscht today, borscht, right? Borscht. And this today, is your Ukrainian today is recipe. Your Ukrainian soup. Okay. It's the most popular soup in Ukrainian. Okay, named very borscht. nice. So here is the borscht. I'm actually heating it up right now, guys. He made it earlier. And this is Ukrainian soup, right? Look at that, guys. Take a look at that. It smells really nice. So what do we have in this uh, soup No, it's here? a bouillon. Uh, first of all, you need to make bouillon. Okay. You can use any kind of meat. Beef, uh -huh. chicken, pork. What do you want? And okay. make First, you need to make bouillon. And now here is potato, uh -huh. carrot, beef root, uh, cabbage, okay. garlic, oh. tomato, okay. uh, pepper, uh, and uh, no, I think that's all. Okay. And this is something they eat in uh, Eastern Europe? It's normally it's Russia and Ukraine. Okay, Russia and Ukraine. It's, okay. a, it's most popular in Russia and Ukraine. Okay. Today I saw two girls from Poland. Uh -huh. They never heard about borscht. Oh, okay. Wow, interesting. Okay. <laughs> Normally it's typical uh, Ukraine. Okay. Typical Ukraine. Okay, very nice. Okay, guys, I've had food from Poland. I've never had food from Ukraine, guys. So we're gonna try it today, and I want to bring put out my support for Ukraine, guys. I know from it's a Spanish tough time. Border from in Ukraine and I want to say wow we're we're all with you we're standing with you with Ukraine so we're going to have this soup and we're going to think about Ukraine while we ha have this great borscht soup or something okay else. so he said normally they put sour cream in the borscht but yeah. we don't have that so we've got a substitute we've got kefir right yeah okay guys I have my bowl of borscht there it is guys take a look that actually looks very good oh you've got some uh, wine for me okay very nice high class wine guys here out of the uh <laughs> Out of the carton, very nice. It's a Spanish wine, right? It's a Spanish wine, but okay. normally for Boris we need to. Okay, so we need to, to do. We need, we need to do a cheers. We don't have water. Cheers. <laughs> cheers for Ukraine. For Ukraine. Yes. yes. No, Ukraine. I, have, I have some beer. Yeah. Okay, guys. He's going to get a glass. So I'm going to try this Boris, guys. How about that? Oh, he's got something there. Okay, what do you have? Okay, okay so a cheers, guys. A cheers. Certainly not the best wine I've ever had, but it is wine. <laughs> so let me give the borscht a try, guys. You can definitely smell the cabbage. It seems like it's got a little bit of everything in it. Okay, nice smell. It has a nice smell, guys. Cannot wait to dig into there. Let's try it. Okay, let's have some borscht. Mmm, it's really tasty. Very tasty, very nice. Mm. Very tasty, wow. So you definitely have the cabbage in there. Is there some tomato? I believe there's tomato in there, tomato. right? Tomato. And let me see, I've got the some meat. Almost beetroot. looks like everything. Some beetroot. carrot, beetroot. Oh, okay, some beetroot, guys. Wow. It's the main. Okay. Beetroot. And carrot. <laughs> Garlic. Mmm. It's really flavorful, guys. I have to say, I love the colors, too. You've got a lot of colors going on. Look at that. A lot of different colors in there. So, very nice. And you said I was supposed to try it with the... If you want to, you okay. can try with the Okay. A chicken bone in there or something. I guess we don't want that. Maybe for the flavor. Look at that, guys. Take a look at that. And I believe that's very healthy for you guys. It seems like a very healthy dish. That's really good, guys. Wow. Never had this in my life. So the first time I try it, and a thumbs up on the borscht, guys. And I'm drinking it with some real Ukrainian guys, so even better. And what are you having there? What is that? Mm, no. no. Meat? Meat, okay. Yes, and um, some meat. I don't know how to say it. what it, what is it. Can you say something to the people in Ukraine? Can you say something in Ukrainian? Yes, of course. Okay, please. Go uh, ahead. What do you want? What? what um, to say we like we support you in Ukraine. We support the Ukrainian oh, of people. Of course, of course. Ukraine is the hardest 
people in the world. Uh, Say in Ukrainian. Ah, Ukrainian. Ukrainian language. Ah, okay. Slava Ukraine and uh, uh, Ukraine is the most powerful nation in the world. Very nice. Okay. Support for Ukraine in these uh, hard times, guys. Support. You guys are doing a great job, and we support you, and we support President. Zelensky, he's doing a fine job in Ukraine. My friend was teaching me how to say good in Ukrainian and it's smyshno. Smyshno? Okay, I got it right, guys. There it is. And it's actually similar to Poland because you say smachna in Poland. So, smachna. Very nice borscht. So, let's have another cheers for the borscht. The borscht. It's so good. <laughs> and you and I. We've had it. We've been drinking a few nights together, haven't we? In the hostel. Uh huh. Very nice. He's been here a couple nights in the hostel already, guys. We've been. At, we usually go upstairs some nights at, after um, midnight, and we have a few people from the hostel, and he's one of the guys, and we usually go up there and have a little bit of wine together, something like that, and and have a chat, guys. You know. So I was talking here with Kostya, and he said that he used uh, chicken because that's what he had, but normally you use a beef or. Pork, is that what you yes, said? Yes, yes, pork. Okay, very nice, guys. And you need to, always you need to use bone. Because bone. for good bouillon, you need to use meat with bone. Oh, okay. On, meat on bone. That's where you get the flavor. Yeah. Okay, nice, very nice. Okay, guys, so I enjoyed the borscht. Thank you so much, Kostya. Very good borscht. Welcome and to Ukraine. Yes, we have or to- Or invite me to make borscht in the US. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. And we all need to pray for Ukraine, guys. Let's pray for Ukraine. And thank you, my friend. Okay, thank you. So we'll see you in the next video. A travel addict, a guy. Let's have another cheers, guys. Take care of you, one.